2008 Dodge Ram headlight. <laughs> I took it off because it had water in it. When you raise the hood, there's two 10 millimeters right here. Right there, you'll see them. And then there's one you got to get to back here. You remove this little rubber cap from right there under the driver's side, depending on which, which one it is. It's 10 millimeter. And you just pop the lights out. Pretty standard thing. And I could turn it up and pour the water out of mine. It had so much in the bottom. So what I did was I stuck the uh, hair dryer in there. And now I'm letting the moisture hopefully heat out of there. I'm not turning it on real high. And then I re-siliconed all around the edges. Yeah, it looks like crap. But I don't care. Who's going to see that, right? Because that's the top. It, it sits like that and all the water would rest up in that area. So anyway, quick down and dirty. That's the screw that pokes out the back by the tire. Then the two that go up front are right here. There's one and there's two. Those are my bottles. I found a spot for them. I got tired of looking at them all over the porch and everything. So I showed them in there. And I put the little ones in the big ones. That's not all of them, but that's kind of the main ones I want to keep. Anyway, back to what you're here for. I just put a, a crappy bead down along through there. And then when it, I'm going to leave it there. Just let it dry for a while. And, uh come back and see how it looks this is the only problem with drying out real fast with the hair dryer it leaves hard water stains inside you see that long streak and the other one so what I've done is I've, oh it's a bummer I got one of these things that grabs it's got a little thing a little knob on one end and I stick it through the hole and I wipe some of the stains off so far that's working okay but I can't seem to get up here so once I get that main one washed out wiped out then I'll put it all back together I waited too late to get out here and finish this but I want to show you real quick it just pretty much slides right back in the hole these are the two bolts that I took out like I told you they're 10 millimeter and uh, well, I'll come right here this other one to show you what I was talking about my wife wanted some Chinese food, so we beat feet to town. Those two? Where is it? Can't find my finger. Oh, it's missing a bolt. What's up with that? I didn't know that. Wasn't lining up either. It looks like the scene of an accident. Anyway, I got these two bolts, and then I got my other one. But that's where it goes back in. Just pretty much slides back on there. It came out pretty clean, other than the lines inside. That one right there, so... That's where you get the water out. But I learned a valuable lesson. If you're going, if you've got a pool of water in there, don't lay the light on the bubble part and put a hair dryer on it. Stand it upright so all the water pools in one corner. You shake out as much as you can, then just get the last drops in the corner. And then put your uh, dryer on there so if it does leave a stain of hard water stains inside, they'll be down there and not across your light. Roger Rabbit, over and out.